In this tutorial, we will guide you through the process of connecting your AIS device to Aquamap after setting up your onboard instruments with a Wi-Fi connection. Once connected, you'll be able to view AIS targets such as boats, ATONs, aids to navigation, and more directly on your map. To begin, connect your device to the app using the Wi-Fi connection feature. If you haven't done so already, go check out our Wi-Fi connections tutorial, which will teach you how to connect your onboard instrumentation. To enable and set up AIS, simply open the settings menu and tap on the AIS option. At the top of the AIS settings page, you'll find a switch to enable the feature. When this is turned on, Aquamap will begin displaying AIS targets and monitor potential collisions in real time. There are two main sections. The AIS targets list displays all the AIS targets that Aquamap has received, while the AIS friends list shows the targets you've marked as friends. Once you mark a target as a friend, Aquamap will always recognize it as a friend whenever it appears again. Now, let's configure how AIS targets appear on the map. There are several options you can customize. Show on map lets you see AIS targets directly on the map. While Show AIS class allows you to choose whether you want to display Class A, Class B, or both. If you enable Show Moored Lost Boats, you'll see boats that are either moored or marked as lost. And with Show Atons, you can display real or virtual aids to navigation. With the time stick, you can visualize where a target will be in the next few minutes by creating a course line. You can set up collision avoidance alarms to warn you about potential risks. With minimum CPA, closest point of approach, you decide the minimum distance that will trigger a warning, while time to CPA lets you set how far ahead the system should check for possible collisions. Plus, you can even customize the alarm sound and its volume. Once your AIS device is connected and AIS is enabled, all the received AIS targets will appear on your map. You'll see that. Boat icons are sized to match the actual size of the boat, and their colors show the status. Brown for normal, green for friends, red for track targets, and flashing red for collision alerts. On the left side of the screen, you'll see the AIS box, which shows closest point of approach and time to closest point of approach. If a collision is detected, the AIS box will flash red to alert you. To view detailed information about any AIS target, just tap on its icon on the map. This will open the AIS target info page, where you'll find a few key details, like CPA and TCPA. If you'd like, you can mark a target as a friend or track the target tapping on the red star. And that's how you connect your AIS device to Aquamap. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.